that's that game. Community. Marky is a young man who is running from the police. He decides to move to an isolated place with a few neighbors. After moving to a small community, he discovers that his new neighbors are not very normal. Many things are happening. One, two, three, four. God damn it. My name is Marky. I'm 19 years old. I needed to move to a more isolated location. Right in front of police. I don't really like talking about my motives. I need to isolate myself. A calm place with a few neighbors. So I moved to a small community. I'm sweet home. I'm gonna go say hello to my new neighbors. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? What do you want? Hello, I'm a new neighbor. I just want to say hi. That is, that is the family. I don't want to miss. Okay, no problem. I just want to live in peace. I hope so. Don't bother me. Okay, no problem. Fuck you. Anybody home? What happened here? We're not discussing such a with anyone now. Let me see you new bear. I mean, I'll let you know, right? We don't like a mess. You don't have any problems with me. Don't worry. Thanks. Now leave me alone. I have things to do. Okay, I won't bother you anymore. Fucking bitch. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen someone so beautiful around here. Thank you. You're also beautiful. Thanks. Whenever you want, you can come here at night. We can watch a movie together. Oh, yes. I'm a little busy today, but we can schedule this sometime. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get late. Hello, friend. Never seen you around here. Do you need something? No neighbors. It's a quiet place to live. It's best Welcome. This is the best place to live. You'll love this place. Thank you. I really like the place. See you later. Well, that's everyone. I'm tired. I'm going to lie down for a bit. I'm always tired. I literally blacked out. I was very tired. Physically and mentally. Around 3 a.m. I heard people talking outside. I decided to get up and see what was happening. Fuck 
are you doing? I guess I'll go back to fucking bed. Or not. Oh. Hello, child. How are you? Ready. Better get my umbrella. The door's open. Looks like someone came in here. What happened? Nice. Sorry, you can't go oh, in there. What happened here? I can't talk about it. I'm sorry. It's the rules. Rules? Why can't you tell me? I promise you, at the right time, I'll tell you everything. Yeah, I better go. The rain isn't greasy. Think for the rain. We'll have something to eat this year. Okay. Not creepy in the slightest. going on in his plate? I need to take a shower. A nice hot shower. Hot water. This is great. Slather in my kit. Excuse me, who the fuck are you? What the fuck what are you doing in my house? I need to find out what's going on here. Someone needs to tell the truth. Hello, sir. 
Not from the day. She sent us rain. The corner girl well this year. Huh? Who are you talking about? I think it's about time you knew. You're now part of our community. What do I need to know? In 1772, other people lived here. It was a peaceful and happy community, but they were very religious and very strict with their customs. Her name was Lara. She was a sweet and kind girl. She really didn't accept her very strict discipline. She liked to create drinks with healing principles. Oh. Okay. It was just a tea with medicinal herbs that she found in the forest. But her family and neighbors didn't like it. They considered it heresy against God. At a community meeting, everyone decided that she was practicing acts of witchcraft. And this was completely against the principles of her religion. So they decided that the only way to save the girl's soul was to purify her body with fire. My god, these people were, were sick. What did they do to the girl? They burned her alive. Right in this place. She took hours to die. Her screams of pain echoed throughout the place. This is horrible. How could a mother allow this to be done to her daughter? She had no choice. She also believed that her daughter was a witch, possessed by the devil. And what are you doing here? I mean, rituals? Vessels of blood? I told you too many things. Go home, sleep. Tomorrow the day will be beautiful and sunny. Okay, I guess. Story Scott told me is scary. There's something very strange going on here. No shit. I hope tomorrow is a better day. I need to find out what they are hiding from me. I need to talk to the neighbors. They need to tell me the truth. I don't want to talk right now. Just tell me what's going on in this place. We're just getting on with our lives, can't you see? What do I need to see? You will still understand. That's not English. Well, perfect English. There's grammar issues. What do you want, boy? I don't have time to talk. I want to know what you're doing here. Is this some kind of ritual? Ritual? You don't do rituals here. It's none of your business. I saw you at dawn in that bowl of blood. No time for this right now, boy. Leave me alone. Scott told me the story about the burned girl. Scott talks too much. This happened a long time ago. Better forget about it. Please, just tell me the truth. You will know the truth soon. What do you mean by this? You're part of this community. The truth always comes with time. Bitch. Hello, how's your day? It's okay. I'm just worried. What do you... What do you worry about? Who knows? I can help you. I just want to know what's going on in this place. I know what you're feeling, but don't worry. I'm here for you. Are you doing some kind of ritual? You doing some kind of ritual? Scott told me about the burned girl. Can you tell me more? She became a saint. Her suffering was so great that she took over this entire land. Her curse arose through pain and hatred. Do you make any offerings to her? Yes, but they're not rituals. We don't use that word. We offer blood and fire to her only. Then will our land prosper. And whose blood is it? Is it human blood? I'm sorry, I need to go now. I'm so tired. See you later. See you later. I'll fuck you later. Anyways. <laughs> Alrighty. Good morning, boy. I'm sorry about yesterday. I didn't mean to scare you. 
Come on, no problem. I want to know everything about this. I understand that you are a part of our community now. We have our customs and duties here. I just live here. I know, it takes some getting used to. But if you want to stay here, you'll need to please the girl. She died. She is no longer with us. Yes, but, her, but your spirit takes over this land. You will only prosper if, she, if it wants you here. It's better to follow our ways, or you end up like Larry. Larry, who is he? He lived here. You must have seen his house. Yes, I saw it. what happened to him. He just didn't accept his fate. We'll talk later. Okay, literally no information from that. What the fuck? It's a flaming penis. It has chlamydia. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, leaving. I said I'm leaving, bitch. Shut up. I said shut up. Bitch, I said shut up. What's going on? I think I'm going crazy. Well, shit. I was captured and locked in a cage. These neighbors are completely crazy. I don't know what they want from me. I think they've all been taken over by evil. I need to escape this place. Uh, I can't escape now. I don't got a key. Well, hello, lady. Still don't have a key. Get me out. Let me out. Let, 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 let me out. No. Well, you're an idiot. Damn. They kill people and offer... Offer this demon. Get stuck in the door for a second. Well, I gotta get any keys I got and well, my shit. I'll get my ass. They need to learn less. Oh. Time for the craze, but stab at the strike.
craze, but stab it time. I'll kill you one by one. You can't kill me, boy. You're a pan blood, bitch. Cat looks dead to me. Bitch, you can't run from me. <laughs> Bitch, like I said, you can't run from me. Daddy, we're gonna be late for the ceremony. Daddy, who do I need? I need to be. Pur Why do I need to be purified? Oh no! Something bad. There's, there's something bad inside you, my daughter. Something bad? Am I sick, Daddy? It's gonna be okay, daughter. You're gonna be okay. this trail. What the fuck? Are you ready to serve me? If you become, you were just an innocent chat that girl. It was people's ignorance that turned me into this monster. 
I never did anything bad to anyone. I'm sorry for what they did to you. People really are horrible. I was just an innocent girl. They lied to me. They burned me alive at the stake. My pain and my suffering. Kill for me, Marky. Burned them alive at the stake and offer me their blood. And I promise you that you will prosper. You'll never lack for anything. Help me cleanse the evil from the world. Let me burn the truly unclean. Sorry about what happened to, to you, but I can't be part of this. And I'm out of here. Jesus. So I can get the other ending. Okay. Now, Marky, are you ready to serve me? What have you become? Uh, yeah, I already know that. I hate people. I will kill for you. One year later. We have a new neighbor moved to, into Scott's house. He doesn't go out much. What am I supposed to do? My house didn't have a sign. Oh. It's okay, Lara. I already understand. Does that mean I need to grab my axe? Yep. Sorry, man. I need your blood. Bitch. I have 
out a cold blooded butt stab. Lights went out. Your car breaks down on an empty and dark road. You look for help. Perhaps your only option is to knock on the door of a sinister house isolated from everything. My name is Oliver. It's not easy to tell this story. I worked nights at a gas station. Every day I took the same route with my car. Okay? But that night I discovered what hell is. Oh. And that's how the lights went out. I stopped on the road to take a piss. I was already late for work. I needed to keep driving. You already finished pissing? Come on, car. Working at night is not easy. It seemed like I was always tired. I should have taken my car to the mechanic. It's been showing defects for a long time. I wasn't used to solving my problems so quickly. I was settled and following a route. A, a routine, not a route. Shit. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. This road was long and inhospitable. There's a house near here. I see it every day. I was f feeling a strange sensation. Something didn't seem right. There's the house. After working a little, I saw the house. I decided to go there and ask for help. It looked like a normal house, but I didn't see anyone. I 
I knocked on the door, but, but no one answered. I decided to go around behind the house. There's an open door. I decided to go in. I really needed help. Oh, this house looks familiar. It's had a strange energy and a smell. A horrible smell. Oh, yeah, this definitely looks familiar. This is from the story game. The house looks really abandoned. I needed a phone to call for help. It was unbearable on the second floor. There seemed to be something rotten. I'll never, I will never forget that scene. Dismembered bodies, lots of blood. I needed to run away from here, from there. Then we could see what it was. I ran downstairs, but there was someone standing there, waiting for me. He wore black clothes and a sinister mask, so I ran back upstairs again. I was very scared. I didn't think straight. I decided to hide in a closet. Suddenly, I started to hear some footsteps. I was motionless. I can only see through the gap in the closet door. Can you leave, please? I decided to come out of the closet. I need to get away, get away from there as quickly as possible. My shore is closed. I was trapped inside the house. My shore opened. All I thought about was running away. Rains towards my car. I was scared to death. It felt like someone was watching me. For some reason, he left me alive. But my life changed forever. As he cut my face, he said, I'm giving meaning to your life. I love seeing the landscapes. I love seeing the sunlight reflecting on the plants. I 
Now I live in the dark, always hiding in the shadows. But I can't give myself up. So I said to myself, So I said to myself, So I said to myself, This horror game was sad. Is that it? Yep. That was a sad horror game. Yep, and now I gotta go to main menu again. I don't wanna go do story mode! Did I pipe with the man and you'll be no money to drink a bright Twitch game? But I'm the Twitch streamer. Anyway, next game, meat. After his father's death, Jerry and his brother Chris take care of the restaurant that was their father's greatest passion. They prevent the restaurant from going bankrupt. They decided to do terrible things. Karen, you work in a firm before the end of the business week. Oh my god. The restaurant is getting emptier every day. This way we're going to go bankrupt. I collect the dirty dishes from the tables. So here's the thing, I worked at most multiple food places, and I'm just going to say ahead of time, don't work at food places. <laughs> People will treat you like shit, both workers and customers. Holy shit, it's Nogla. Anyways. Good evening. I would like a burger with salad. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry, sir. We are out of meat. No meat? This is a damn restaurant. Sorry, sir. Bye, Nogla. <laughs> Chris, it scared me, brother. Brother, this is why our restaurant will go bankrupt. We can't let the restaurant go bankrupt. It's our father's passion. Like, it depends on several factors. <laughs> We've run out of money. The value of meat is very high. No meat, no hamburgers, no customers. Shit, we need to find a way. We are already two months behind on our bills. I know how to save a restaurant. 
Oh, how much longer are you going to be going? This will be the last game, and after that, I'll be ending stream. Yeah. Beyond Burgers. <laughs> Tell me, brother, I'll do anything. We need meat to make our burgers. Maybe we can get free meat. Oh, are we going to turn this to a... We're going to turn this to a gay restaurant. Go vegan, you cowards. <laughs> I'm sorry. And how are you going to get free meat? Simple. You kill people and bring them to me. I prepare the burgers. You crazy bro, kill people? Either we do this, or we're going to have to close the restaurant. The fuck, bro? This is crazy. It's the only way, brother. We promised our father that we would take care of the restaurant. Sheep. Okay, because a friend of the mouse is doing late night baby stream, and I wanted to bring a raid. Oh, okay. Yeah, we probably, we can raid them. That's cool. Anyways. Shit, shit. Okay, I can do this. Okay, try to catch, catch someone alone. You need to be quick without witnesses. Okay, no problem. I'll need a revolver in your van. You can take the van. The revolver is under the seat. Take care, brother. I love you. No one veggies on the, on the burger. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I like some veggies on my burger. Or a burger. Okay, leave it to me. I love you, brother. Oh, that's a freezer. <laughs> I was about to try to exit this restaurant through the freezer. Well, where's the goddamn van? Oh, there it is. She refuses to eat his vegetables. But what if we put it in the other holes, Chew? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I already left. I can barely see. I couldn't understand a word. I said, what if we put it in the other holes? Not the mouth. You enter the freezer, you are the meat for burgers. Time to eat you. No one here. Oh, I forgot to get Brad the revolver. I can't stop. I can't. I forgot to grab the revolver. There we go. Can't or won't. I need the gun, Chew. I have to restart because I fucked up. I fucked it up. It's your fucking fist, you're amazing. You're amazing. Shut up. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> I fucked up. They probably ran off somewhere and I don't know where. Why the fuck am I watching this? What are your first murder? <laughs> yeah. Look, the the Kree's butt stabber is not good with guns. They're good with knives and hatchets. 
feed the chew. I want broker. <laughs> hey, Jack, I don't understand why you're watching this if you don't want to watch it. I have decided to invade your skin. Oh, shit. Hi, Hatchet. Why the f- why- what the fuck are you playing? Why are you playing this? It's part of the trash horror, horror collection. It's- Well, yes, the... I understand that. Why are you playing the trash horror collection if this is it? Honestly, I I actually enjoy the games. Right? Yeah. I mean this in the most loving way possible. You have absurdly low standards. Okay, and another thing is, is I want to give every horror game a chance. You've Whether given these... Huh? You've given these collections four chances. <laughs> yeah, and... <laughs> I has you not been given burger. <laughs> I'm trying to skip the dialogue as quickly as possible. Don't say every bright. That encompasses literally everything. Do you know how many do you know how many horror hentai games there are? You're gonna yeah. stream all those too? Well, not on Twitch. <laughs> and no, no you don't. <laughs> because I don't know how many horror hentai games there are. I know for a fact I know more of them than you. <laughs> I haven't even delved that deep anyways. There has to be a more efficient way to get out to your car. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, Bright. So this time, try not to forget your gun. Right. Now where's the house? And there it is. Fired a warning shot. <laughs> Don't you know you're always supposed to fire a warning shot at, the, at those who you want to murder? <laughs> Kill them. Oh boy, do I love the pointless. Loud ass sounds for no reason. <laughs> so we can make a horror game centered around bigotry. <laughs> Don't be charitable with us. I. It chew. There are certain horror games I didn't want to play. There was actually one horror game in this in this in a previous collection that made me a bit uncomfortable. But I, but I was it wasn't too uncomfortable. I would imagine, it's like, I'm guessing Chu is meaning centering around yeah. bigotry as in, like, it's literally bigoted. Rather okay. than using bigotry to elicit horror. Yeah. Uh, Chu, I don't consider those horror games, I consider those fucked up games. Right? Yes. If the fucked up games are in the horror genre, they're still in the horror genre. Shut up. All the original racist ass Looney Tunes and uh, Mickey 
Mickey Mouse cartoons were still are, are still classed under children's entertainment, just you know, uh, absurdly outdated and fucking racist children's entertainment. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Chew, I would say most horror games. There are a section I won't play. Kind of like the one where it used actual sounds from an essay. I did. I did not touch that game. <laughs> that's an actual. Oh my, that's just. Yeah, that, no, that's an actual game. Yes, there is. That's, uh uh, that's. What the fuck, bro? Yeah. It was announced on Twitter, and I looked at it, and I was like, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyways, you did it, brother. I thought you wouldn't have the courage. That was insane, bro. Done. I did what you asked me. Then say most and be accurate rewarding. Otherwise, I'll continue to be pedantically <laughs> messed with you. Fuck you. Together, we'll save the restaurant. Behavior. Yeah. <laughs> Together, we'll save the restaurant. Take a knife. Take some meat so we can I can make the burgers. Okay, I can do that. All right. Time to chop up the dick. <laughs> Seeing if my exiting and rejoining <laughs> will make you sound less bit crushed. What the fuck did I just come back to? <laughs> I cut the skin off. <laughs> Wait, the burgers are people meat? Silent green is people? <laughs> it's chew. That is the most low quality, de skinned human body I've ever seen in a horror game. <laughs> ah, some dick meat. <laughs> Why did you cut it from there? <laughs> I like to order a double burger with cheddar cheese. One month later. <laughs> We've been doing this for a month. How the fuck have you been doing this for a month? <laughs> and no one caught on. Oh, what am I saying? I've I've watched I've watched fucking true crime stuff. One month is entirely plausible. Cops are fucking incompetent. Oh, we also sell popcorn. It's made from human teeth. <laughs> Hell, you know what? I'm choosing to believe that your first attempt at this game was also canon, but the cops just never showed up after being told that someone broke into their house and tried to shoot them dead. <laughs> Hello. I want a burger, please. Hello, you can sit down. I'll take you to you right away. I have a double, triple, posse oh, deluxe on a raft 4x4 animal style, extra shingles with a shimmy and a squeeze. Light it, axle grease, burn it, and let it swim, says Chew. I have chat open. Oh. Human boga. <laughs> They're just leaving the entirely done burgers with, like, all the fixings on, on the grill. That is going to be the most burnt-ass bada bun imaginable. <laughs> we serve food here, sir. There's your food. She just going to stare at it? That's not how you eat a burger. <laughs> oh, running out of people meat. I was about to say, did that one guy last that long? Apparently. And why is this taking place a month after you've been doing this? Why wasn't this the first customer that they're showing this cutscene for? Right. Where are my pickles? A satisfied customer. Ah, people meat. You can't tell whether it's cannibalism or if it's horny. <laughs> I just, I can't get over the he my head where they were holding it like the burger like a hard-shelled taco. 
<laughs> really good comparison, yeah. <laughs> Just holding it vertically. Yeah. <laughs> if you put tomatoes, I, I'll throw it at you. Okay, okay, it's you. I'll give you extra tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes. <laughs> you are supposed to be waiting on a customer doing something else. I'm confused. I don't know. <laughs> I don't interact with him. We got enough people meet. But, we got any customers? We got a car there. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Just a random fucking two pieces of food here. <laughs> what even... What even is that thing? I don't I know! Guess a, I guess it's like a hot tray to keep, like, certain foods hot, but... Oh yeah, no, this is a hot tray. I know what hot trays look like. Is that even what it's actually called? Uh, we, we nicknamed it a hot tray, but it did have another name. I forgot what it was called, though. But, yeah. A hot tray is a nickname for it. So you can't call it that. And where I learned this stuff was at Chick-fil-A, and I'm never working there again. Burns Burgers. Uh, Burns Burger. Wait, Mr. Burns Burger. We're in... <laughs> We're in Springfield. <laughs> Wait, does that mean Mr. Burns is dead? Does the fa her father died? Okay, I am very much confused. What do I do? <laughs> I'm just running around unsure as what to do. Do I? No, go out. Go out and shoot. See if you need to shoot someone else. Nope. I mean, why, I... the... why did you leave the van door open? I don't know. If someone could just stole on the van. Try talking to a woman. Is the woman still there? Try talking to a woman. Wait, th the woman's still in the store. No. Oh. Oh my God, Sprite! <laughs> you forgot to do literally the most base. Yeah, I worked in food places before, <laughs> says Bright. <laughs> forgetting to do the most basic shit that you would do in an establishment like this. Yeah, Jesus Christ, what happened to your face? He had a very loving engagement with a motorcycle tire. <laughs> Good evening. I heard that you know, they serve the best burger in the entire region. Good evening, sir. What do you want? I like a burger with extra salad, please. You can sit down. I bring your burger in a minute. Extra salad. It's just, just a regular burger. Where you at? Take your shit. I don't see no salad with that burger. <laughs> yeah. I take. Talk to my brother. Our meat supply is running out. The restaurant is doing very well, brother. What am I doing? I'm not touching my keyboard. My brother would be earlier in the game too. Yeah. Yes, but our meat is already running out. You need to bring more meat, bro. The customer is alone. It's the perfect target. Damn, brother, you're a lunatic. We are both, bro. Now go and kill. I have to kill the customer. <laughs> Oh, it's like you want to get caught. Right. Oh, he's dead.
Now we get more meat. Watch us still not get caught. Thanks for this, brother. You are saving our restaurant. Don't need to you thank me. We're eating your brother soon? Yeah. Our father would be proud of you, brother. You'd be proud of both of us, bro. I'm going to prepare some hamburgers. Stay in reception in case any customers arrive. Give it to me, brother. We're not going to clean up the mess. Oh, it's gone. You got really efficient janitors around here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe no one heard that. Says <laughs> Julia. Oh my god. It went yeah. into all our faces. It's just got ravaged by time. Oh my god. You have both very Oh my god. Efficient and very tight lipped genders that conspicuously oh, are experts at getting out blood stains. Oh, oh I don't need to take the clean. Oh no uh, officer. <laughs> Look at his face. Yeah. Good evening. I need to speak to Chris Burns. He's my brother. What do you want with him? A man disappeared a month ago. A witness saw his brother's van parked near his house. My brother didn't do anything. I'm always here with him. Don't worry. I just need to ask him a few questions. No problem. He's in the kitchen. I'll let him know. Shit, man. What does the cop want? This cop wants... What do you think the cop wants? Right. He wants to talk to you, brother. Shit. We're gonna get arrested. Rex, brother. You won't be arrested. Are we gonna kill the cop? You're gonna kill the cop, aren't you? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? A witness saw your van at the crime scene. Rex, bro. I'll talk to him. I'll sort it out. <laughs> they want to broker. This is shit. Okay. Chris is absolutely the sort of person to not see the obvious issues with killing the police officer that was sent to talk to him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he has the gun. This is stupid. Now we watch from the outside. Why is... Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Notice how the cop dropped instantly while the two random civilians without body armor took like four bullets to kill. Yeah. Quick, bro. Bring his body. I never thought I would have the courage to kill someone. He told me he would have to take me to prison. Everything is fine, bro, but now what? What will we do? Everything will be fine. We have enough meat for two months. Again, th what? Yeah. This guy just... Like... You also gotta think about Their cars are still there. Like, okay, so... Victim's <laughs> cars are still there. The police <laughs> officer that was specifically sent... To come talk to the to you two under investigation for a murder is not going to turn in. <laughs> yeah. We've got a missing person that was last seen at your restaurant. What the fuck do you think's going to happen? <laughs> right. <laughs> Where the fuck is mine, this shit? He's yeah, a she hasn't gotten his burger. Yeah. He was a damn cop. They're going to find out what we did. Relax, brother. I'm going to get rid of the cars. Everything will be fine. Hey, brother. I trust you. Yeah, that doesn't take away the issue that... <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. One leak. One leak. Okay, yeah. That's, you know, that's, that's not a good sign for them. You know, when it goes to the black screen... I, I, I swear, it looks like a combination of the, the Predator sound and one of the droids from Star Wars. It literally sounds like it. Like the dying sound. Oh yeah, kinda. Yeah. Can we get a bit more like some of the stuff, like the sound effects in the background of like Transformers movies? When they yeah. transform. Yeah. 
Wait, one week later and no one sent more cops over here. Entire week. There's gonna be a SWAT raid. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did Shoes ghost breathing go through? I didn't even hear it. Well, I didn't hear it, but I wouldn't be able to hear it anyway. Yeah. Chris, where'd you go, bro? Uh-oh. With this rain, I don't think we'll have any more customers today. Chris, shit, where did you go, man? He went to kill more people. Or not? I think this is one of those games where you literally have to just wait for shit to happen. No kind of like the previous game. Yeah. Because the best, as we all know, the best way to handle game design is uh, to make the players wait for no reason. Yeah. The, the power always goes out when it rains. Why do I get the feeling that one of the brothers is going to die? Chris, brother. All right, bright. I got a suggestion that might help you find someone if you've lost. All right, step one: go onto the road. Step My two, turn. run in the opposite direction of where traffic will be coming. I'm sure nothing will hit you from behind. I'm probably sure there's going to be a barrier. Yep, a barrier. If there's a world-breaking barrier between you and the nearest road, give up. All is lost. <laughs> <laughs> Try checking the stalls again. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Can open, can open, can open. This game really just does want to keep you waiting, huh? Apparently. So what kind of burger joint has popcorn? I don't know. Thing. Where are the bodies? What the fuck's going on? Ah. Uh... Wait, did the bodies come back to life? <laughs> the burgers came back to life inside all the people you fed them to, too. The door is locked. Chris must be kidding me. Okay, so they're not outside. Well, I take it the cops aren't gonna get you. Okay. Yep, I was right. So, yeah, um... What? <gasps> it was oh, just a tree. Um, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I would have preferred to be confused. <laughs> Shit, it was... Just a dream. Chris is still gone. Oh, there you are. We're doing great, brother. Trying to kiss each other. It was very well. <laughs> there is nothing going on behind those eyes. <laughs> that is the look of a dead thing. <laughs> 
what are you doing in here, bro? You're going to freeze. It's hot, bro. I'm just cooling off a little. I need your help. Yeah, bro, what do you need? There's a homeless man outside. He's been bothering our customers. I need you to put an end to him. I can do this, no problem. Don't use the gun. We can't take too many risks. The police are watching us. Okay, then what can I use then? There's an axe inside the bathroom. You can use it. Why is there an axe in the bathroom? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, I'll do this it just... now. <laughs> this just keeps getting stupider. Yeah, what in and, like and you're saying? Into blatant classism. Of uh, the fucking uh internet. It's a piece shit. Danny. Where is the homeless guy? Oh there he is. It's just hanging out back here. <laughs> I can't see him, it's too dark. Oh, there he is. Ah, yes. Completely inconspicuous. Yeah, I I'm sure the police won't notice the yeah. very loud sc Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey. What you got there? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> Danny, hey look! A distraction! <laughs> one year later... What do you mean, one year later? Was that not a gunshot? Did they not just shoot us on sight? Nope. Wait... What, in a mental ward? Ah, I see. Because this is the logical through line of all that's happened. Also, in a mental ward, wouldn't the doorknob not be there in case people would break out? As well I as... mean, in a criminal in in huh. a criminal facility, I'd be willing to guess, yeah. But I I'd also be willing to guess that it depends on the different person. But yeah, yeah this is just begging to have issues. Yeah. Good morning, Jerry. Please sit on the bed. Is there anything this garbage game isn't very realistic? No shit. <laughs> Are you ready to talk, Jerry? I'm confused. I know I've done terrible things. Admitting your mistake is the first step. Why did she kill those people? I did it to save my father's restaurant. I did it together with my brother. Your brother? That's impossible, Jerry. Wait a minute. After, oh, my fuck's after my father's death, he was the only one who stayed by my side. Tell me where he, he is, please. I'm sorry about what happened to your family. It must have been a huge trauma. I regret what I did, but I couldn't disappoint my brother. He also loved the restaurant. Are you talking about Chris Burns? Are you sure he was with you, Jerry? Yes, he was by my side the whole time. There were just the two of us. Jerry, that's impossible. What are you talking about, Doctor? What did they do to my brother? Your brother was in a car accident along with your father. They both died, Jerry. No, he's alive. He was with me. I know it's difficult to accept the truth. I'll give you some more time so you can think about everything. Fucking M. Night Shyamalan bullshit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I love... Right. <laughs> I'm proud of you, brother. Hmm. I love games that cynically use people with psychosis as a... hand-fisted way to try to make a terrible horror film. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's the end of it. All the game.
Follow the transport connection. It's over. It better not be a fifth one. As far as I'm aware, no. Yeah, this is the best of the horror collection that that, that collection has to offer. I know, they made this. These came out a while ago. They actually made way better games. I just wanted to try these out. So they found something else to do with their time other than the poop killer? Yeah. That's good, at least.